On the face of it, the strawberry business looks pretty simple. Grow them, pick them, sell them. Thank you. But like everything that's bought and sold in the EU, strawberries are covered by regulations. Specifically, EU Regulation 543 slash 2011. It says strawberries must be fresh in appearance but not washed, free of abnormal external moisture. The calyx has to be fresh and green. That's this bit. And classes one and two shall be a minimum of 18 millimetres in diameter at the equatorial section. It's these kind of rules from Brussels that some say are burdensome, costly, holding British business back. Elaine Clark, the farmer here, would love to see a reduction in red tape, but... Our biggest customer is the retail supermarkets and there's an awful lot of regulation involved in supplying them. How much difference coming out of the EU in terms of regulation would make, I really don't know. It's hard work picking strawberries, physically challenging. You will already have guessed where these workers come from. They're all from Romania and Bulgaria. Why Romania and Bulgaria? Well, for the simple reason that it's become, in our industry, impossible to get local people interested in fruit picking. There are now around 3 million EU migrants in the UK, 5% of the total population. Immigration is for some the issue at this referendum. The worry not only that the number of EU migrants is putting pressure on things like housing, schools, hospitals, but that it's fundamentally changing the social fabric of this country. In the farm shop, you can buy strawberries picked just a few hours ago. Here's a question for you. Would strawberries be cheaper or more expensive if we left the EU? Well, almost 40% of the whole EU budget goes on subsidising farmers across Europe, about £45 billion a year. Without that subsidy, some farmers say they'd go bust. Leave campaigners have said if we do vote out, farmers would continue to get financial support. And what about the price of food? Remain campaigners say a vote to leave would see a drop in the value of the pound, tariffs on imports and exports, and more expensive food. The Brexit camp say if we leave the EU, we could have trade deals with the rest of the world, which would make some food imports much cheaper. The humble strawberry, surprising how much it can tell you about the EU.